I first met Joseph Sanders. We were in JRTC, and he was a new guy. So it was kind of weird for me because we had, we had so many similarities. Our sense of humor was the same. Our the way we talk to people. We play guitar a lot. He taught me a lot of songs on guitar. I had noticed Joseph wasn't talking to very many people. He wasn't playing his guitar as much. I asked my friend Chapel. I was like, Hey, man, what's going on with Sanders? Chapel told me like, Yeah, his uh, his wife asked him for a divorce. Right then and there, that changed my world. I went from happy Joe, 180 degree turn to devastated Joe. I just, I didn't see it coming. He didn't see it coming, obviously. To get through a lot of things that I did in Iraq, I, I, I got through because of her. He told me, he's like, man, when I'm on guard, it's the worst. It's the absolute worst, because we were doing six on, six off. So he had six hours in a guard tower just thinking about. Just think about how I lost my wife and you know, my whole universe just came crashing down on me because that's what she was to me. That's when it, it sent a red flag in my head that something could go wrong here. I realized that the marriage was over. And this day, for some reason, I just took it extra hard. I didn't care about anything in the world at this time. I didn't care about friends. I didn't care about my family. The only thing I thought was my world was over. Everything that I worked for and the life that I had outside the Army was gone. Something took over, and I couldn't control it anymore. I grabbed the rifle off the wall, put my rifle up to my chin, put it on semi, and I pulled the trigger. When nothing happened, I immediately went into soldier mode, and I broke down my rifle really fast to find out why it did not fire. I pulled it apart and found that my firing pin was not in there. Godding walks in the door after all this happened. And I look at him and I said, Godding, where is my firing pin? He said, Sanders, how'd you find out? And he's like, I tried to kill myself. So I, I was like, I like a standstill right there. I didn't know. He was a little overwhelmed too because I, I didn't, oh my God, it was so weird to hear that. He says, yes, I took your firing pin. I took it last night. He says, you were worrying me. He said I was, I was showing so many signs and I didn't realize I was even giving any off. I was just communicating with a buddy, you know, just my problems. 